After you've finished crimping your assembly, it's absolutely critical that you measure the outside diameter of the crimp to ensure a safe and perfect fit. Depending on which set of dies you've used to crimp your assembly, the procedure for measuring the crimp OD could be a little bit different. When we used the 733 dies, we noticed that they are smooth on the inside surface, and so we only get ridges on the ferrule in between the die fingers after we're done crimping. When we use the 720 series die, like the 722 dies I have here, you'll notice a notch in the center of each die finger. The result is that you're gonna end up with 16 ridges on the ferrule instead of eight, and that's gonna make it a little more difficult to measure that crimp OD. I'll demonstrate how to measure crimp outside diameter when crimping with the 20 series dies. Using Gates digital dial calipers, measure halfway between the ridges. Notice that Gates calipers have cutouts. To be sure the crimp diameter is being properly measured, mark a crimp flat. Beginning with that flat, count nine flats to get the diameter. Be sure that the caliper blades do not touch the ridges. Then, measure halfway between the ends of the crimp portion of the ferrule. If the actual crimp diameter is not within the recommended crimp tolerance, you may need to recalibrate the PC707. To get a larger diameter, change it to a larger number. To obtain a smaller, tighter diameter, change the digital readout to a smaller number. Record the new setting on your crimp data chart. If you're not using 20 series dies, use the Gates digital dial calipers to measure halfway between the ridges. These calipers are notched to clear the ridges. Be sure the caliper fingers do not touch the ridges or part number stamps. Then measure halfway down the crimp portion of the ferrule. It's simple. To learn how to calibrate or crimp with the PC707, check out our other PC707 videos. Contact your local Gates rep for more information. And thanks for watching.